What is going on everybody? Today I want to talk about something that is a disease shared and a mistake made by many human beings, especially people who put out some sort of work out there into the world and that it just doesn't bring them success. As we grow up and as we are influenced by certain people and idols and all that, we tend to easily imitate and basically just copy those people that we admire. And uh, at the beginning stages, I don't think there is anything wrong into copying the work of people who you might, might, might admire because it allows you to build certain skills and blah blah blah. But eventually, everybody has to find their own unique voice. And today, in the internet age, I see a lot of people uh, doing the exact same things in the exact same way with the exact same elements as their idols and and I just don't I just see there's nothing remarkable about that there's nothing innovative about that there's nothing unique and therefore there's nothing great about that I believe that the best way to achieve uniqueness is to be 100% aware of everything that we are inspired by and taking bits and pieces of all those elements and putting them all together not all some of them but putting them together in a new combination that is completely unique and therefore your own and this way you're using the elements that inspire you but at the same time you're using them in a way that is 100% yourself it is 100% your voice it is 100% your work let me give you an example. A few years ago, I had a singing teacher. He was a judge in one of those talent uh, television competitions. And he told me that in the beginning stages of the auditions, a lot of people sang Someone Like You by Adele. And what was the problem? Almost everybody who auditioned sang the song in the exact same way as Adele. With the same tonality, with the same voice effect, and with the same sound, and just basically copying exactly what Adele did. And therefore, there, there's just nothing great about that. Why? Because everybody prefers and only wants the original. Nobody needs, the music industry does not need another Adele. The music industry does not need another, mm, I don't know, Freddie Mercury with the exact same voice and everything. An artist can be great once he finds his own unique angle, his own unique voice. So for example, if someone is a singer or is a music producer and loves Michael Jackson, but what if, apart from Michael Jackson, he was also inspired by Coldplay? Um, and maybe other artists that are that were completely different. Maybe he was greatly inspired by Billie Holiday, old jazz singer from the 40s and 50s. Uh, maybe he could take a little bit of Coldplay, of for example, the piano, the soft piano of Coldplay. Maybe some elements of the music of Michael Jackson. Maybe some elements of Billie Holiday, and in the same way, elements of other artists he or she might be influenced by and trying new combinations all the time, all the time, all the time until he or she comes up with something that sounds absolutely great, magnificent and 100% unique something that the world has never heard of and this strategy can be applied to any sort of work and well, I just wanted to present it out there because I personally took this strategy from this man Arnold Schwarzenegger, he in this book shares something along those lines. He wanted to present himself in the bodybuilding world in, a, in his own unique way. And yet, that, that, this idea, I took it from one of the most professionally successful men in this world. And um, so yeah, hope it is of great service to you. And see you next time, my gangsta.